name is Vera Nortinski. I am with Cargo X. Uh, my role is Vice President for Business Development. I was uh, with TLME back in 2019. At that time, Cargo X was a small company with uh, 14 employees, no revenue, and we got two prizes, like uh, Best Blockchain Innovation of the Year and one another, but this one I remember. And today, uh, last year we did 75 million euros of revenue. We have 107,000 companies using our platform on a daily basis. And so far we did 4.5 million. This is outdated uh, transactions, blockchain documents uh, on, on, on our platform. And we are especially proud on 68,000 of uh, fully verified digital identities of different companies from uh, around the world. So I would say we are the fastest growing independent platform and uh, that's, that's uh, thanks to, to one project we, we acquired in, in Egypt. So we are working for the government on ACI protocol. So we did some development in past past four years. Uh, and uh, at the beginning, uh, we were focused mostly on digitizing uh, bill of lading. And uh, because we thought uh, blockchain is a good technology, you know, to pass the document and title of, uh, over the cargo through the blockchain. And uh, somehow this idea evolved uh, on whole trade, uh, all documents. You can use, you can use uh, blockchain to, 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 to improve global trade in many, many ways. And this is actually the future we are talking about today. The problem which was uh, addressed on previous slide, there were several uh, responses and uh, several initiatives. One of them is DCSA. We are working very closely with DCSA uh, on, on uh, electronic BL standards. We are very active in different uh, initiatives uh, within DCSA uh, about interoperability uh, among the EBL providers. We are also provider of EBL for uh, FIATA. Uh, same thing with BIMCO. Uh, we are working with Fit Alliance and uh, Uncitral uh, model law for electronic transferable records is actually I would, uh, the fundament for all these activities for global trade to go digital. So uh, that was our vision. So, sorry. Documents, uh, paper documents, this is something what belongs really to the past. So documents are data, and data is structured. And structured data you can easily process. So you don't need human attention to, to process this data. And uh, all the errors which are caused mostly by humans are easily eliminated in that process. And also you can, you can, uh, you can uh, control uh, possession over, over data. So second, second part of that vision was blockchain. So blockchain becomes uh, a medium, a technology to transfer the structured data between uh, parties involved in, 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 in global trade in all the processes related to cargo movement from origin to destination. A lot of benefits of, blo of blockchain, I will not waste time here, but the last one about transactions uh, that every single transaction is audited. So you have audit log, you have full visibility from, uh, from the origin to destination, and uh, this is actually, I would say, the best part uh, around blockchain. Besides, it's unhackable. So if you combine those two, you're getting trusted data. And uh, you can automate a lot of workflows let's say with custom clearance, for example, with custom authorities, it can be, it can be done in no time. Uh, that data, you're avoiding multiple di data entries and the uh, status of every single uh, piece of data is always visible and cannot be altered at any time. So if you do something on blockchain, this is final, it's period, that's it. It will stay on internet forever. So some few words about features on, on our platform. Uh, so we will support you in creation and management of electronic trade documents in different types, so either structured, non-structured type, 
uh, we are compliant with DCSA standards to issue uh, to issue uh, 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 structure type uh, BL with mirroring PDF, which is readable for humans. And also, we are now developing uh, another module uh, on our platform, which will allow to all entities to create uh, uh, structured documents uh, on CargoX platform uh, according to different standards. So either UN standards or local standards of the country, and so on and so on. Uh, so transfer of doc document and possession uh, of the document, uh, like uh, electronic BL, for example, uh, is done with uh, blockchain technology. All the, all the pieces of data uh, anybody is uh, uploading on the platform are uh, encrypted with 256 encryption. And that, that brings you actually ultimate security and confidentiality uh, to your work workflows. As I said earlier, this audit capabilities, this is always on. And of course, um, if you combine everything uh, with uh, complex uh, data flows in, in global trade, uh, we are developing, and this is already on, on, on sandbox for different uh, business cases we are working on right now, um, uh, uh, multi-point filing, so filing is maybe not the best name here, but this is only in, in development. Basically, you have a, 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 a process with uh, importation of the, of the goods, for example, and uh, according to, to country's legislation, uh, you need to process uh, all the documents in, or data in, in, some, some, uh, uh, in some way. And basically, that, that is the feature available for, for uh, anyone on CargoX. So you can create, uh, and, or we can create for you uh, that process in digital way. So we can, we can uh, set a, a logic for your process on the platform to help you auto automate uh, and, of course, to improve transparency, uh, optim uh, to optimize the process, uh, and so on. And also, that gives uh, uh, opportunity uh, to, 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 ultimate, uh, to, to, to build uh, strong business intelligence. So uh, you, can, you can audit uh, all of the uh, uh, events which are happening and uh, you, can, you can identify uh, some, some uh, suspected uh, activities, so whatever. You can, use it, you can use that data in many, many ways. We can host whole process part of the process of the process so as a, an a example here this is ACI protocol on import side uh, so we are very flexible in that way so whatever comes to 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 anybody's mind we can support you with uh, with uh, with our technology so if you want to to ask on maybe to 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 have uh, only this first uh, four dots uh, or, or the whole process, it is possible. So we are very flexible about that. And that's the key for the future. And that was identified by all the members of DCSA. All EBL providers uh, are on the same page besides trail lanes, but they don't exist anymore. That interoperability is the future. So we are very, very, I would say, uh, forward thinking company and we already provided several POCs so we are able to exchange uh, documents between different uh, platforms, digital platforms. Op interoperability could be described easily uh, in real life like uh, email services, telecom operators so you can call from uh, one network to another network. Same thing uh, goes for digital platforms so once that is achieved and I think it has to be very, very soon uh, because all carriers came to an agreement that uh, there will be no more paper bill of lading uh, from 2030 on. Until 2028, 80% uh, of the flow uh, of the bill of ladings will go uh, electronically. So there is a strong, I would say, uh, initiative from carrier side as well to, to go digital. And yes, we did several of those POCs already, and uh, this will only benefit the whole ecosystem uh, in global trade uh, with compliance, and, and uh, basically you will have uh, ability to choose platform which suits you the best, and you know to 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 to.
to cover your business needs. Having everything in mind, what we already have in, on our platform uh, with verified digital identity, uh, identities, uh, so if company wants to uh, interact with the government, it has to be verified. So we have two steps of verification. First, first step of verification is uh, financial transaction between us and, uh, and, the, and the company. And second step uh, is outsourced. So for us, this is performed by Dun & Broad Street. And basically, once you are registering your company, uh, you're invited to, to go through uh, KYC process. Uh, you, you have to, to, to make a payment of 15 US dollars to us. We are checking your identity through Dun & Broad Street. And all, if all data is matching, you be, you're becoming verified company. So it's not done only once. It's, uh, it's a, a recurring process. It's happening once a year. So we know that this company is real and it's alive, it, it is existing. All those companies are having public blockchain wallets and uh, we are also following and very strict with the uh, AML rules. And with all this said, we are really ready for smart trade finance deployment. I already said a few words about uh, our features and benefits for, for, for uh, our users. I think simplicity of user interface is a uh, first impression when you come to digital platform, uh, whether if there is a click or not. So we made it very, 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 very simple. It looks like your email account, and this is something what uh, people are fa familiar, familiar with, and then uh, everything else is much easier. So beside that, we have a strong team uh, in support, any difficulties you might face, uh, we have uh, uh, two shifts covering the, the whole globe and uh, answering the, the questions of, of, uh, from, from the users. Um, it's actually free of charge to create an account. It's, uh, it's open source, so you can, you can join the platform. We will not charge you for subscription. We will not charge you for licensing. You can have one user, 10,000 users. It's really irrelevant for us. Our business model is based on on transactions. Regarding deployment, so you can access through, through uh, our web interface or uh, through API and you can, you can stay in your ERP, so both, both options are available. We are ready, ready for, for future for smart trade finance. Maybe a few words about our success story in Egypt and I think that's second to last slide. In 2021, government of the uh, Arab Republic of Egypt uh, integrated uh, our platform into their uh, Nafeza single window system. So any inbound sea freight cargo coming to Egypt has to be announced through our platform. And uh, based on that input uh, with those documents provided, not only in, in non-structured format, they're also requiring uh, invoice in structured format. They're generating, they're creating a, import declaration. This is very important. So this structured data is already real reality. It's not future. It's, I would say, it, it's already here for one and a half year, almost two years. It will be in October. So we managed to, to shorten the, the cargo release time uh, in Egypt from 29 to maximum nine days. This is a little bit uh, wrong. And uh, that was a really big pay pain point for all the importers because of a uh, very slow reaction from the customs and the uh, costs for the uh, overall costs uh, cannot exceed uh, 165 US dollars per shipment. And in the past, there was, a, there was a protocol for the importer to go through legalization process for the documents and so on and so on. So yeah, and we did 4.2 million documents already for Egyptian government. Excellent awards from Tilmi uh, and uh, I'm very proud on that because I attended that, that uh, event back in 2019. And uh, this year we got uh, from ICC UK uh, award as a, as a best cross-border trade software system technology solution provider of the year. And I think uh, it speaks a lot. It was, uh, it happened like a month and a half ago. So. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Thank you.